Hello everybody and welcome to your daily tarot advice. This is for Wednesday, June 27th, 2018. I have timestamps for each sign listed in the description box below. If you are interested in the interactive option, if you require further confirmation or more advice, today we have Madame Indora fortune cards, Gaia Oracle, and the planet cards from the astrology reading cards deck. So I will start with Sagittarius. If you are not Sagittarius, go ahead to your timestamp below. Hi Sagittarius, how are you today? Happy hump day. All right, let's see what comes out for you guys today. Overall energy and advice. All right, so we have listening. With this Sagittarius, um, you really need to pay attention to somebody's actions, energy, body language, um, more than the story that they're telling you today. So also with this, you need to pay attention to what's not being said to you. You know, um, this is really reading between the lines, you know, seeing beyond what's being presented to you. So somewhere today, it's like you're not being given the full story, the full explanation. Um, you might not be being told anything whatsoever, but you'll have a sense where this is playing out. You'll feel like something's not right and you need to listen to yourself and really pay attention, okay? Especially to what's not being said to you. So an example of that, um, let's just say you've been dating somebody and, and there's no real commitment and let's just say you've been dating them for like six months and you decide today's the day that you're gonna lay it out on the line. Hey, we've been together six months and you know, are you ready to commit? What's going on? And you know, their response to you, let's just say that they're, you know, really dodging answering your question straight on. It's not a yes or a no. It's well, you know, I I got really burned in my last relationship and I told you that I wanted to take things slow and you know we're having a good time like let's not screw this up like if that's what you're being given that's not the whole story right that's your it's your direct question is being dodged and you're being given excuses and justifications and you're not getting a yes and you're not getting a no, okay? So really pay attention to what's not being said. Don't let anybody confuse you and get you like twisted up in your own thoughts and your own mind today um, because they're not giving you all the information or they're dodging your questions, all right? So let's pull some tarot to get a bit more information about that card. there oh yeah because look what's coming out we have uh, justice in this position which means there's some sort of dishonesty trickery tiptoeing around the truth not revealing the whole truth you know there's something to miss today Sagittarius so you pay attention yeah and it's almost like you're being intentionally blocked from it now with this being the Nine of Swords, this could be where it's obvious, but you don't want to face it. Like, you don't want it to be the truth. Like, you feel something inside, and you know that that's probably the truth of things, but what you're being told is what you would rather listen to. Like, it just feels better, even though somewhere inside you know it's not the truth, right? So this could be where you are intentionally blocking yourself from seeing the truth, um, or this could be where somebody's intentionally blocking you. Or, Sagittarius, this could all be about you. And 
there's something your spirit is trying to tell you about yourself that you want, that you need, that you desire, that you need to do something, all right? But for whatever reason, you're lying to yourself. You are not acknowledging it. And I don't feel like this is a deceptive thing. Like this is not you being deceptive towards anybody else. This is you denying yourself something for the sake of somebody else's happiness, for the sake of, oh, what would people say? For the sake of, I've already invested all this time and energy into this, so I'm just going to stick with this. That type of dishonesty to self, where you're denying yourself something and using a justification or an excuse because that's easier than facing the truth of, I'm not happy or I really want that instead. Um, it's something like that. So this is either going on inside you today or, you know, somebody is trying to pull the wool over Sagittarius's eyes. Um, with the three of coins here, this could be in the workplace. This could be in a friend's circle. Um, you know, pinnacles, this to me isn't so much about like you and a romantic person. This is a general reading, so it could be. But this feels uh, stronger um, like in the workplace or um, in a circle of friends or some sort of organization that you belong to, something like that. So Sagittarius, have all your senses open and aware today, especially your spidey senses when you're dealing with other people. Any sort of financial transactions or, or dealings today, really pay attention before you sign any sort of contract, um, lend any type of money. If somebody's asking you to borrow some money today, there's a high probability you might not get it back, all right? So just be aware of that before you, um, you know, put it out there. So. All your senses open today and Sagittarius if you're being dishonest with yourself by denying yourself something this is a wake-up call from the universe saying listen it's not going to get better you can't you know deny who and what you are and what you truly desire it will always come to the surface because that's your core self that's your natural state of being that's your soul your very essence so Whatever, for those of you who are, you know, being dishonest with yourself about something, today is a day where um, it just might, like, you're forced to face it and deal with it somehow, some way. So, Sagittarius, those are your messages today. I am wishing you guys all the very best. Um, if you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp for um, one of these decks. Otherwise, have a great day. <clears throat> Hello Capricorn. <clears throat> Sorry. My allergies are kicked up big time. Um, let's go ahead and pull a card and see what your overall energy and advice is for today. All right, so we have the grove. This is a nice energy. This is um, about healing, this is about apologies, um, this is about making up, this is about letting bygones be bygones. Um, in general, you should probably just feel better overall today, mentally, emotionally, some of you physically. Um, this can mean that you've been in a period of recovery um, or this is prompting you that you need some recovery somehow, some way. but. Overall, it's very positive, and if there's any apologies that you need to extend to anybody, today is a great day for that. Um, also, if anybody needs to apologize to you, you might receive that today with this particular card. So, overall energy, um, nice, healing, cooperative, feels good. Other people want to, you know, be on board and heal things like you know Mars just went retro so uh, that intensity is is let up quite a bit and uh, it's time for healing and mending and moving forward so let's pull some tarot for you guys
All right, so um, some of you, this could involve a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but otherwise, um, this is definitely your energy level being up, um, mo feeling more excited, feeling more enthusiasm, you know, just a, a better day if yesterday was rough or even if yesterday was okay. It's like today's a higher energy day and now we have this uh, Six of Cups and so we have this um, Knight of Swords. So, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Capricorn, what I see here is some of you, there's a, you may have had an argument or a fight with somebody that's close to you. It, this could be a family member. This could be like a long time friend, a friend from childhood. This could be a romantic connection, okay? But, you know, um, with Grove here and then this lineup of cards, definitely some of you, there was a an argument that took place. Um, there was fighting and things were said, but we nobody really meant anything that was said. It was just the heat of the moment, okay? Um, let me just look here. And you know what? For some of you, this is like two people that like are involved in this and there's like healing. Um, you could be helping two people heal. One of them could be very difficult, all right? Um, here you're giving all this energy and love and they're just like closed up like a clam, not appreciating anything that you're offering or giving. Um, some of you, that's what, like some energy that you are dealing with. It's like you are on board to heal, to let the past go. Let's move forward. Let's do what we need to do. And they're like, no, I don't want to. I'm, I want to be right for the sake of being right. Um, if that's your stance, you might want to shift that, okay? So what I see is like a squabble here, but also like we're getting over it. So if this happened in the recent past today, it's like we're moving beyond it. If you have a squabble today with somebody, it's going to work out before the end of the day. Like it's not a big deal, so don't like stress about it or get too upset about it. Some of you, um, I feel like there's, there may have been some sort of like hookup or fling, a one night stand type of thing that recently happened and you really thought it was gonna go further or the person that was involved with you really thought it was gonna go further, but it's like, it's not or, you know, somebody was completely cut off, cut out, ghosted, just like, bam. And um, today, you might actually find out more information about why it played out that way, or that person might come to you today if you cut them out and ghosted them, might come to you today and be like, what's up, why did you do that? So this is definitely a day of resolution and clarity, apologies, making amends. Um, just be weary of the person who always has to be right for the sake of being right. Like, just let them have their way. And I think I saw that in your um, weekly forecast is similar energy, like somebody just being really difficult to deal with and you are better served just letting them throw their tantrum, be difficult, whatever it is that they're doing, because I feel like if you just let them act out their behavior and you don't really react to it in a negative sense, it's going to like bring them around back to you and be like, hey, Capricorn, I'm really sorry for that. But if you like um, indulge it and you get angry and you get frustrated and you fight back and, you know, get right up in it, it's like it's disastrous and that it doesn't like nothing good comes of that but if you take the high road and choose to be the bigger person and just let them do what they got to do it's like that's where the healing comes into play okay so those are your messages today for Capricorn um, if you haven't watched your weekly forecast I would highly recommend it just based on what I saw here in this reading and if you need further guidance or clarification go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck that you are most drawn to otherwise have a very beautiful day Capricorn
Hello Aquarius. How are you today? Let's pull a card to see what your overall energy and advice is for today. All right, so we have the High Priestess of Fire. Um, this is a, some Aquariuses feeling like they got their groove back, feeling like they have their energy level up. Um, today you might just be feeling really um, motivated, really creative, really passionate and excited about what you're doing. You might come up with a new idea to improve a process in the workplace or just, you know, something about your daily routine that um, really changes things up. But the High Priestess of Fire is great, great energy for the day. But also, um, some of you with this, it's like uh, you're be facing some inner truths because you're being purified by the fire. You're releasing, you know, some heavy weight, some yucky energy that's burdensome, all right? So good day, good energy for Aquarius right here. Some of you, this might just be a really intense, passionate, sensual connection that you are experiencing with another individual today as well. So let's pull some tarot, see what comes out there, Aquarius. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, we have more fire energy. We have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, and the uh, Page of Swords, more Air Energy. So, Aquarius, um, one of these could definitely represent your energy specifically. Um, also, you could be dealing with another Aquarius, or a Gemini, or a Libra, or Fire Energy, um, but if you're... It, doesn't have to be just those signs. What I'm really seeing here is passionate, uh, excited, high energy communication and thinking, okay? Um, we might even have like a little bit of bickering. Um, you might have like this amazing idea and you wanna present it to somebody of, you know, significance of importance, but you're a little nervous like that it won't be well received or that you'll be shot down or, um, you know, it's just like you really want something and you're feeling excited about it, but there's still this element to your energy where you are a little bit weary, a little bit doubtful, we're a bit defensive, like we're worried about something here, but it's... Based on this, it's not like, you know, you're worried about paying your rent or anything like that. I really feel this is more about um, something that you must communicate, you must express, a conversation that must take place, um, you know, sharing your idea, putting yourself out there. Like, I feel you will be well received, Aquarius. Um, it's just you're really worried that you won't be and it might like cause you to hold back but you shouldn't you will be well received today the energy is very good for you to express yourself now in saying that i see fire which is spirit and action and movement and i see air which is communication and intellect i don't see any cups here I don't see any pinnacles here. So we're not really discussing um, our deep emotions. Uh, we're not discussing plans to make anything manifest, really. This is all like in the beginning stages of something. So if you're trying to present an idea or a new implement implementation of something in your workplace, you know, um, maybe you're trying to start your own business, just whatever it is. It's like we're more in the brainstorming, the mapping out, coming up with ideas, the creative process and taking the first steps towards that, which here it looks like it's communication or 
really in deep thought, really intellectualizing your options, what you want to do, how you want to go about it. But I really feel like this is a conversation between you and another person or you and like a group of people, okay? And since this is general, it will be different for each and every one of you, obviously. So today it's like we're a little nervous for this uh, conversation, this communication, or we're really thinking about something, but we're not quite sure how to communicate it, how to execute it, how to get the ball ro rolling, but we are filled with energy and enthusiasm, and, and we really want to execute. We want to move forward, okay? So today, keep that in mind, Aquarius. This is not like we're exchanging deep emotions if you're dealing with another person even if this is like a really intense hot connection passion um, it's like you both are only experiencing it intellectually and in that like passion second chakra area of yourself like neither of you are willing to speak of emotion put the emotion out there because we're nervous for some reason okay so um definitely a day of analyze intellectual uh, definitely a day of thinking and deep um analyzing also a day of communication and presenting ideas all right um maybe a little bit of disagreement or that could just be a fear that you know totally being honest and putting yourself out there you know because she is very very blunt all right she's going to tell you exactly how it is what's on her mind but she's not going to be condescending and insulting she's going to state facts okay she's going to say this is this that is that this is your place this is what you did this is what you didn't do like it's all fact it's not speculation it's not insults it's not you know being condescending putting you down it's nothing like that but she is brutal as hell she will tell you exactly 100 percent like it is and that's probably where this a uh, bit of defensive energy comes into play so this is either you having to be blunt and straight up and you're nervous about that and it puts somebody else on the defense or somebody is just going to be very blunt and straight up with you and it puts you a bit on the defense but all is well here okay so if you require further guidance or clarity Aquarius, go ahead and um, click on the timestamp for one of these decks that you are most led to. Otherwise, I'm wishing you a very beautiful and blessed day, Aquarius. Take care. Hello, Pisces. Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. Right, so we have the conclusion. Um, this card can go a couple different ways. In fact, this is really, really tricky energy, um, highly contingent upon uh, what's around it. And uh, I'm just looking at the other cards behind it. So before I even speak to that, let's pull your tarot and see what the tarot is saying about this. Because like I said, this could mean a number of different things some of you could think that you know how it's all going to work out and play out and the universe is like oh no you have not read that far yet you don't know what's coming um for others of you this is the ending of something for even others of you this is the beginning of something new um or this could be all about one thing like you thought you knew how it was going to end but it didn't work out that way. It ended a whole different way. And now we're starting on a brand new beginning. And it's all the same thing. Like I said, different for each of you. So we have the High Priestess. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Four of Cups. So um, Pisces, I really feel like uh, what's going on here is there is a situation that you're not very happy about um it's the energy is stagnant stale you've lost all hope you're like 
this is like beating a dead horse. It could be a dream that you have, a goal you've been trying to achieve, a job you've been trying to get, a promotion. You know, there's something in your life that you've been really wanting or trying to work towards or you've been patiently waiting for. And with the high priestess in this position, it's usually an indication that you have the rites of passage into the temple of wisdom, meaning that your intuition is on point, like you know what's up. But what I think, because this came out, is you think you know what's up, but you don't know what's up, Pisces. You don't know really what's up. You, you're you not there yet. It's like, um, and I just gave this speech to a friend of mine. She's not a Pisces, but, um, you know, you can't, if you're dan if you're sharing a dance, it's like you're trying to end the dance in the middle of the song. You you haven't even made it to the end of the song yet, even though you think you know how it's all going to play out because you're like, no, it's these same steps every single time. Nothing has changed. This is how it is to the very end. Uh, the universe is saying, uh, no. <laughs> There's, you don't know how it's going to end, okay? You really don't. Even though you think you do, you don't. So with this, you are better served to just kind of like shelf it. Don't think about it. Don't analyze it. Um, you know, two fours, that's stability, right? So there is stability to the situation. It's just not really progressing, nor like degressing really so there's no ebb there's no flow it's just like stagnant still water you're tired of it you're bored this is like I feel in a rut uh, my energy I just want out of this experience I want some excitement I want this to happen I want that to happen just hang in there Pisces there is something coming all right and the next card would be confidence so and look at this. This is card 42. This is card 4. This is card 4. And this is a 2. So this is definitely um, meant to come out. Pisces, have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in the universe. Have confidence in the situation at hand. You know, whatever this is specifically pertaining to in your life. Because you're not there yet. You really have no idea how things are going to turn out. It could be... Uh, you know, things turn around in your favor completely unexpectedly. It could be there's some new opportunities or new people that show up a bit more down the road and that completely changes your mind on what you want, all right? This is the universe saying to you today, Pisces, no, Pisces, I don't care what you think. You don't see the road ahead. You are way too twisted up and caught up in this, so your intuition is not on point about this particular thing. It's You're more pessimistic. You're negative. You want to throw in the towel. You're done. It's stale. It's stagnant. It's ugh. And so you're like, this is all it's ever going to be. Like, there's no, nothing's going to change. It is. Have patience. Flow. Okay, Pisces, just put it on the shelf for today and ask the universe to help you because I don't feel like you're going to get much more information about uh, closure or when it's going to work out. It's like, nope, you just, you're in the middle of the journey. You've got to go through the experiences to get to the end of the story, okay? So don't assume you know the end when you're only halfway through. Those are your messages, Pisces. If you need further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp for one of these decks that you feel most drawn to. Have a fabulous day. Hello, Aries. How are you today? Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. Okay. All right, so we have the warrior. So you are very um, focused on what it is that you want or that you want to achieve today, um, or you're, you've come up with a new plan of action, a new goal. You are very focused. Um, or this could be somebody quite focused on the pursuit of you. So let's pull some tarot. 
to get some more information. All right, so we have the four of um, pentacles. Yeah, you guys are really steadfast. Um, some of you wanting to make a dollar, make a profit, earn more money. Like we're incredibly focused. Some of us to the point of maybe our own detriment. So let's see what, let's keep pulling. All right, so we have justice here. And we have the six of cups. So... This is honest energy. This is pure energy. So I like that. So we are very, very focused on what we want to achieve today. Okay. Like 100, you're on point. You're honest. You're in it. There's purity. If this is somebody coming at Aries, they are very honest. They are very pure. They are very true in their intent for you and what they are saying to you. Um, if you're having some sort of like legal matter or making some sort of financial investment today, I really feel like it's going to go your way 100%. If you like cross all your T's, dot all your I's, read all the fine print, really understand um, what you're getting into or you know what's really going on I just feel like if you were on point Aries like you're a hundred percent um focused and in today on whatever it is for you personally you will accomplish magic like it will all go in your favor um some of you this could be where you run into somebody from your past today. It could be a friend. It could be an old coworker. It could be an old lover or crush. Okay, um, with the six of cups here, but it's like we are are running into each other or we are meeting up. I just feel like whatever you're doing today is very honest energy um, there's a lot of purity and innocence to it and if you were considering going about something in like a dishonest fashion um, fibbing a little bit trying to cut a corner you know trying to maybe manipulate a situation a little bit to have things go in your favor this is the universe saying no Aries do not um, don't go down that road be honest and pure as you can be today and you will manifest what it is that you're truly seeking okay um, if you have a job interview today and there's some you know gaps in your employment history or you know there's some things that you really want to hide about the past and with previous employers or just your past in general this is the universe saying Aries you're better served to just be 100% straight up and honest about everything in the job interview and it will go in your favor. So no matter what, even if you're scared and you're like, oh my God, the truth might really screw me over, tell the truth today. Um, again, and anybody who is dealing with you, I feel like what they're telling you, what they're offering you is very honest as well. So good energy. If you work hard, you will achieve. Um, if you're entirely honest and pure in your intent, you will be rewarded. And for some of you, you're running into somebody and it's just a, a very nice reconnection. So those are your messages for today, Aries. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp for the deck you feel most drawn to. I am wishing you a very beautiful and blessed day. Take care. Hello Taurus, how are you today? Let's go ahead oh, and pull a card for your overall energy and advice. And we've got the denial card. So um, this can mean a couple different things. So let's pull your tarot to, before I go into that because um, usually that's about like timing and things not quite working out. But this might actually be where 
something you were denied in the past is like finally working out today. So let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to add to this. All right, so we have the Emperor. Whoops. The Nine of Swords. And the Ten. I'm sorry, I was going to say the Ten of Wheel because it's the Tenth card. The Wheel of Fortune, card number Ten. Okay, Taurus. Um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, just saying. Um, yeah, what I feel about this particular spread is it's more about um, something you've been denied in the past because Major Arcana, Major Arcana, card 4, card 10, that would be 14. This is card 14 right here. So very strong to, for me that this is an embodiment of the these two energies in one, okay? And the will on this side is things finally manifesting, things finally going in your favor. The Nine of Swords in this position, you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Things are getting better for you, okay? Um, this Emperor could be your energy, or this could actually be somebody who's just very responsible, very diligent, um, a manager, somebody in a higher level position, somebody with authority, um, status of some kind, okay? It's like either they're helping you manifest this or you are helping somebody manifest something that they um, are really desiring and you know with these cards it could really be anything it's not very specific um, job friends romance wishes so you've got to apply this where it fits in your life where have you been really trying to achieve something, but it's like you get denied, 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 over and over and over, and it's like, ah, what is up? Well, now we have nine and then ten. You are to the end of this. So it could be one specific thing, or it could just be like a number of things in your life in general where you're like, man, I can't get good luck to save my life right now. It's like all of that energy is now shifting and we're not going to be denied anymore because either A, the time is finally now, the timing is right because we have the 9 and then the 10. So this could be all happening today or this the start of it is today and it could play out for the rest of the week, you know, just depending on each and everybody's personal situation. But either the time is now or there is something much better and more lucrative being offered to you instead okay so somewhere Taurus has been denied that energy is changing today and now we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and some of you the manifestation comes today but I feel like it's more like we're coming out of the clouds and we're seeing things clearly and we're like oh my god okay yes this is gonna work out this is when this is gonna happen like is it something is very finalized you know and you're happy about it it's going in your favor and you're not denied now just as a side note because this is a general reading and I feel like this would be like for just a couple of people. If by chance today you are totally denied something that you've um, thought you could have or you've been wanting, you've been working towards, trust that you being denied this is actually in your favor. So instead of freaking out, getting upset, it's the end of the world, I'm so mad, no, don't go there allow yourself to really speculate okay what am I being um, saved from what am I being protected from why wasn't this the best path for me why is the universe protecting me from this thing that I've really wanted okay I feel like that's for a very small few of you but definitely um, that playing out and if you get denied that's not that it's bad luck that's actually the universe having your back okay and then for the others of you, like I said, I feel like now finally you're seeing all the reasons why and things are starting to move in your favor. And we're completing this cycle of feeling stuck or things just not going our way. 
So Taurus, those are your messages. If you need further clarity or confirmation, go ahead and click on the timestamp for the deck you feel most drawn to. I am wishing you a beautiful and blessed day. Take care. Hi, Gemini. How are you today? Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. Ooh, we got the trapped card. So today um, you might be stuck in a situation or circumstance that you just want to get the heck out of um, right away. I don't know why I saw many of you like sitting around a conference table like um, stuck in some sort of meeting or conference all day long and you're like shoot me in the head this is such a waste of time but you've got to be there and, and you're not pleased about it um, some of you I feel like you weren't supposed to have some sort of responsibility today but it ends up getting dropped on you and preventing you from doing something else that you really wanted. Um, also, you know, more generalized, this, and this is a general reading, right? Somewhere, some part of you in your life, Gemini, you're feeling very trapped, okay? It could be trapped in a relationship, trapped within a belief system, uh, trapped within a circumstance. There's just some area of your life today where we're feeling stuck, we're feeling trapped, we don't know which way to go which way is out or up or down or forward you know we're just kind of like hmm what do I do here so let's pull some tarot to get more information about that all right so we have the death card in this position. It could be Scorpio you're dealing with. We have the five of pentacles in this position. And then we have this queen of cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, what I feel here, Gemini, is either A, you really feel... Okay, so we want a second chance at something that we rejected or that rejected us, all right? Bottom line, right there with those two cards. We want a second chance at something we rejected or something that rejected us um, because we've had time to think about it. Um, what on earth could this be? It could be a, a relationship, I suppose. It could be... Um, a chance at something and it's like you didn't seize the opportunity or you were putting yourself out there for somebody to seize the opportunity and they they didn't do it it's just I feel like you're like oh my god that was a disaster whatever this is like you're like that was a total disaster and I'm stuck in my head I don't know what to do I really want a second shot at this but I don't know how to make that happen I, I really don't and some of you might actually go seek the advice of a water sign today or an energy that is um, intuitive, empathic, kind of psychic, you know, that type of person. You might be seeking them out and saying, hey, I don't know what to do here. Like, please help Gemini. Please help help a sister or a brother out today because I just don't even know what to do. Um, others of you, this could be where this is somebody you know in this crazy situation and they're coming to you saying, Gemini, help me out. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. Um, I don't feel like this is like we're losing our job or we're losing money. I really feel like this is... You want a second chance and you don't feel like you can have a second chance or you're not sure how to go about creating a second chance for whatever this is for you specifically okay some of you this is all about a water sign like you're feeling very trapped from a second opportunity um, this could be you were about to share your emotions and feelings and it just didn't happen or you know it's something like that where it was like 
right there and then it just didn't work out for whatever reason and I really feel like somebody lost confidence or um, got very insecure um, rejected or got rejected like it's something like that but man we want a second chance we're like if I could just redo that over again I would Gemini seek out the advice of a trusted friend or just somebody very wise and intuitive to give you more clarity on how to handle this because since this is general it's going to be different for each and every one of you and what you need to do to rectify or to get that second chance is different somebody might be begging you for a second chance today and you're like um i just don't know so gemini anyways those are your messages for today. If you require further clarification or more guidance, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are feeling most drawn to. Otherwise, have a beautiful and blessed day, and I, I hope that you get that second chance. Take care. Hello, Cancer. How are you today? Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. All right, so we have invisible. Hmm. So with this, a couple different things. Um, this could be an advice from the universe that whatever you're asking about, um, you might need to remove yourself and stay invisible and be more of an observer of a situation or, or a person. Um, or you might know some information about something and the universe is like, nope, hang back, hang back. It's not the time to put it all out there. And then, you know, for some of you, unfortunately, this is like today, you're feeling invisible. You're feeling like you don't matter. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, a sad energy. So let's pull some tarot and see what's up. Today is just definitely not a day for cancer to reveal all, all right? It's a, you are much better served kind of being mysterious, hanging back and just observing for whatever that would mean for you in your personal situation. <clears throat> all right, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and we have the King of Cups. So uh, this could be your energy or this could be a fellow water sign you're dealing with specifically, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But what I see here is um, there's... Oh my God. I think some of you are totally getting like a big surprise today because I'm like I don't get this this is like gorgeous so what's invisible like why are we invisible here because this is beautiful energy it's like something great manifesting a lot of loving connections we're happy we're feeling good some of you you're getting a big surprise today um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you but I feel like this could roll more through the week. Like you're feeling like somebody um, isn't thinking about you or isn't going to do X, Y, Z. And bam, they, they do it. It's there. It happens. It manifests. Um, maybe that's why some of you are kind of hanging back. Like you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to wait and I'm going to see if you're going to follow through. And they follow through big time. Um I, I just can't see that any of you are feeling like you're invisible or you don't count today. I guess, you know, this is general, so some of you absolutely could. I just, with this, it pairs of energy, it's awesome. Um, this might be, like, it's, if you have a birthday today, maybe, like, um, during the day, you don't hear from your sweetie or nobody's really, like, acknowledging it or noticing you but come the evening it's like bam that's when the party starts okay so if you feel like unimportant <clears throat> at any point early in the day 
just let it go because you're going to not feel that definitely by the end of the day. You're going to hear from somebody. There's something really special. If you have a date tonight, a blind date, you've never met this person before. Like, it's spectacular. It's just freaking awesome. Um, I really feel like there's surprises for cancer more than anything else today. Um, or, again, you could just be kind of hanging back, really observing somebody, watching them, seeing what they're going to do, and they don't disappoint. Like, I, this looks like a really good day. Um, like, you're getting gifts, you're receiving messages, uh, you might have some sort of, like, family dinner or a company lunch or we're going out for drinks or on a date like it just looks good cancer whatever you have planned today it looks really good it looks nice um you know maybe some of you we are having celebration um your birthday's past or it's today or it's sometime this week and you know there is the celebration and acknowledgement of you but maybe there's somebody who is not um in your life or acknowledging it and that's you're kind of hurting or that's where you're feeling invisible even though there's this beautiful energy happening for you some of you it might be there's a very specific person that you're expecting to step up or you were hoping to hear from and it's like they just they can't be bothered okay but <clears throat> overall cancer beautiful day expect gifts expect messages expect connection expect happiness um, it, it just, I just don't even, I feel like this is more like surprises. Yeah, because look at we have the fledgling, so there's something new that's um, coming out. So, anyways, Cancer, if you need more clarity or guidance, go ahead and click on the timestamp for the deck that you feel most drawn to. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Take care. Hello, Leo. How are you today? Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. All right. All right, so we have the warrior. Aries also received this as their um, overall energy and advice. With this, I see Leo working really hard, um, trying to achieve something, willing to put their heart and soul and every bit of physical effort required into something to make it happen, to make it work, all right? And since this is general, obviously whatever that is for each and every one of you is going to be different, but you're very motivated. You're totally on board. You're on point. You're like, let's do this. I want to make this happen. I have the stamina, the endurance, the longevity for the long haul to really make this work, to make this happen, to make this manifest. So let's pull some tarot and see what accompanies that warrior. you what I am a person who is always cold and I actually have the AC on like 60 degrees but boo, when I do these tower readings like I am sweating and I have three more after you guys whoo I'm like oh my god so maybe I felt like sharing that with you guys because you're gonna be working very hard today oh yeah we want a new beginning, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen. And because we're very sad um, about the loss of a relationship, about how something played out. Um, maybe just because we have the warrior here, maybe some of you this is about your physical body. Like you really have just let yourself go, and now you're like in workout mode and you're sad and you're like how could I have let this happen to myself I put so much work in and now we're like I'm on board I'm getting back in the game and now we have this um, page of Pentacles so some of you this could be uh, Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, what I really see Leo is you guys are like I'll do whatever it takes um, I, I, 
if this is with a person, I feel like for many of you, this is about a specific person. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a relationship with your child or a family member. It's just a relationship that is important and significant for some of you. Either today, it's like you're thank you to yourself. I'll do whatever it takes. Like, I'll do whatever it takes to make this work for a second chance, you know, etc. Or you could have somebody telling you, Leo, hey, I want to do whatever it takes. You know, we could have an earth sign telling Leo that uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be an earth sign. Um, we do have a lot of water energy here. So maybe it's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But um, you could have somebody saying, I'll do whatever it takes to get you back, to be back with you. Um, some of you, this very well could be in the workplace. It could, if you're in a management position, you could be having a really hard time making a decision about letting a certain employee go um, based on their behavior or their performance recently. Um, I just feel like there's something returning because this is the return, the, the you know, start of something new. And on this side of the Five of Cups, it's here's this rose there's new growth there's new beginning and the intensity and hardest part of the heartache has passed and we're ready to heal and start a new beginning okay so leo for you guys today wherever it is that you really like want a new beginning you want a second chance you have the energy to um, make it happen today and very promising energy for success whatever it means for you it could be your friend it could be a lover you and your lover could have been just really not getting along and today you both are like okay let's make a truce let's get on board with this um, let's have a new beginning and there's definitely success in that so Leo those are your messages for today if you require further clarity or guidance <clears throat> go ahead and click on the timestamp for the deck you feel most drawn to have a beautiful day take care <clears throat> hello Virgo how are you today let's pull a card to get your overall energy and advice for today all right we have the high priestess of a fire and look at Virgo it's 1010 synchronicity right there um, and look at that's a five half of ten would be a five right so today you guys are full of energy. Um, you could just be feeling really motivated, really enthusiastic, really excited, um, really passionate about something, very creative. Um, this could just be like a day of go, 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 go. Lots of high energy. Also, this could be um, where you're experiencing a very sensual and passionate connection with another person. So let's pull some tarot to get more information about that High Priestess of Fire for Virgo today. All right, so we have the Page of Swords um, as an energy. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but on this side, um, this is a, a better energy to deal with than on this side. So let's just keep pulling. Wow, more air energy. Um, man, I swear this is like mimicking uh, Gemini's reading, actually. Um, I'm pretty positive these two cards came out, or maybe it's Aquarius. There's an air sign. I haven't done Libra yet. So it's Gemini or Aquarius where these both came out. So you might check um, those two timestamps and see and see if that resonates for you. But they were like faced the other way. Okay. Um, yes, Aquarius. It was Aquarius. And then now we have this uh, 10 of coins. So Virgo, what I see here is we are having a connection with somebody 
but we're both very isolated from each other. Um, if we're discussing things, we're being honest, we're being truthful, we're being factual, but we're not really saying anything of real substance. Like it's, um, we're not talking about our true feelings. It's just more like the pleasantries and just, you know, kind of an empty conversation that you can have with anybody. But we have all this passion and fire and friction under the surface. And it's like you and somebody else have isolated yourselves from each other. And we're both caught up in our head. We're not communicating um, our emotions, our heart. We might not even really be communicating this passion that we feel for each other. It's like we don't know what to do here. Okay, so some of you are definitely facing that um, today. Like what do we do here? We're kind of at a standoff. We're at an impasse and you so bad want action, want resolution. You're like, I can't take this. Like, I need to know, is it this or is it that? Please tell me. Virgo, I cannot promise that you'll get any straight answer today, okay? Um, even though you're like, I need action. Now, this could be where somebody's coming at you and like, Virgo, I need to know right now, I need to know right now, I need this, I need that, I need action, tell me. And you might be like, oh, whoa, 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 slow your roll, uh-uh, uh-uh, I am digging my heels in right here, and there is no force in this world that can make me move, so you better just back off, okay? Um, so it's just, you know, general reading, so it could play out either way. Uh, for others of you, there is some sort of idea that you have. Um, it could be like making money, getting yourself promoted within your current company because this is about money and we're passionate, we're creative, we're excited, but we're kind of um, in the thinking mode about it, like the drawing board, trying to figure out like, is this the best way to go about it or is this the best way to go about it? What are the resources I need? You know, just thinking of all the details to um, execute something to make something happen and um, I feel like with this pairing of cards if you think outside of the box today it's like that's where your fire is okay that's where you're gonna find your fire that's where you're gonna find that aha that creative idea that unique niche so Virgo think outside of the box. If it's not the connection with the person speaking to you, then um, the next strongest message is, you know, whatever your idea is, whatever it is that you're really wanting, um, don't so much express it to a bunch of other people, maybe like one other person, very trusted source, very logical person, all right? <clears throat> and we're brainstorming today. We're you know, trying to figure out how we can make this happen and it will be successful. Okay, so Virgo, those are your messages for today. Um, if you require further clarity or guidance, go ahead and click on the deck that you feel most drawn to, the timestamp below. Have a beautiful day, Virgo. Take care. Hi, Libra. How are you today? Let's go ahead and pull a card for your overall energy and advice for today. All right, so we have cycles. Um, this is indicating that perhaps on um, Thursday, tomorrow, the 28th, the Capricorn full moon might be incredibly significant for you. Um, but this is really a card of karma. What comes around goes around. So you could be receiving some good karma today or bad karma today. You know, it is a general reading, right? Or you could be watching somebody get dished their karma, something really good or maybe something not so pleasant. Um, but also with this, for some of you, what you're asking about or what you're, you know, curious about, the universe is saying, um, the understanding or the manifestation will be um, coming in future circumstances, like maybe even like a full moon cycle, okay? So apply this how it fits for you personally, but let's pull some tarot to get more information.
All right, so we have the strength card um, reversed, really. The two of coins and the three of coins. So I feel like for a lot of you, this has everything to do with like your job or finance, financial situation, and you're really worried um, somehow, some way. Some of you are like, "Do I? I am I going to have enough money? I need more money. Should I ask for a raise? Am I going to get that promotion?" Um, some of you might be like, "I just can't take this anymore. Should I look for a new job? You know, is that the right answer?" It's just. On some level, it's like you're getting ready to just break. It's like really intense energy, all right? And you're like, what do I do here? Which way do I go? And, you know, there's new opportunities showing up for you. You see the boat on the horizon there. There's new opportunities. There's coming together. There's support for Libra. So with the cycles here, um, it's really strong. Your karma is balancing out today. All right, look at that. We have the infinity there. Or what you're asking about is going to um, come to fruition within like the next moon cycle. Okay, so if you've been looking for a job um, within this moon cycle, so I would say the 28th of June to the 28th of July, within this moon cycle right before August, is when you get that new job or you get the raise or the extra money comes in or the unexpected opportunity or you know or the good karma is received the good karma could be received today as well because this is positive energy so I feel like Libra um, it's either happening today or it's gonna happen within this moon cycle um, whatever it is that you're asking about especially in regards to job and finance okay it's like it's gonna be okay it is gonna work out I know things are feeling really intense but just hang in there it's all gonna be just fine it will come in the nick of time okay so those are your messages for today if you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click the timestamp for the deck you are most drawn to. Have a beautiful day, Libra. Take care. Hi, Scorpio. Let's see what your overall energy and advice is for today. All right, so we have the denial card. Um, Taurus actually also received this. And um, before I even speak about this, because this could mean a, a couple different things actually, let's pull your tarot. I wanna see what is accompanying this denial energy. All right, so here, here's your own card wanting to jump out. Could be dealing with a fellow Scorpio. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Swords. So um, what I see going on here, okay, is either Scorpio, you denied somebody in the past um, or you've gotten denied or rejected by something in the past. And it's like today is about second chances. You are either really wanting a second chance um, within a company. Um, and that's just that. See, that does not make sense to me. Why? Because we have this Ten of Swords here, and it's like this is really getting screwed over, okay? It's like you got really screwed over. Um, I don't feel like this is you screwing anybody over, honestly. Like, I don't feel like that. If there's an angry cross watcher out there and wants to run their mouth about Scorpio, I so don't want to hear it. I will just delete you because I cannot stand that crap. Anyways, Scorpio. I feel like it was in a company um, you got screwed over maybe um, you're in within your family you got screwed over maybe even in a very significant relationship it's like there was something that happened that really upset you and um, we got rejected 
or we got denied or you had to do some denying and rejecting something along those lines but it's like today that situation is coming back around and we want a second chance we want a second chance to prove ourselves and you know speak our side and state our case so um something that happened in the past and this could just be like something that happened at work that you've been dealing with at work that maybe doesn't specifically pertain to you but somehow some way it's showing back up today and with the denial card here it's like what you've been denied in the past um, with this it's like now you're getting that opportunity that you didn't have before because now it's all about the right time it's all about timing okay um, and it's either you're getting what you wanted or you're actually being handed something much better than you thought you were going to be given okay um, but for many of you Scorpio what I feel is like you guys are denying somebody today like somebody's asking Scorpio for a second chance asking Scorpio for forgiveness or for something and you're like nope I ain't got nothing for you. I cannot help you out. So sorry. Like, um, I almost feel like you're irritated. Like, how dare you even ask me for that? Like, who do you think you are? Like, I just feel like you're not having it, Scorpio. You're not having it whatsoever. Um, if somebody's asking you for a second chance or asking you for money or something it's like you're almost like are you freaking kidding me like you it's unbelievable that you would even consider that you could ask me for these things like you're just not happy about it at all um, definitely somebody wants a second chance though that's all I can say today is a day of second chances somewhere in your life Scorpio um, and it's like this has been kind of like a long time coming things are coming to a head because this is the ten of swords tens are the completion okay and death on the other side would be like end all no repair but um i don't feel like we're at that juncture just quite yet even if you're like saying no to somebody um asking you for a second chance it's like you've got to be you've got to contemplate before you give like a firm solid no i feel okay um so scorpio those are your messages today all about second chances um you guys will have to let me know i am wishing you a great day and if you need further clarity and messages go ahead and click on the timestamp for the deck you are most drawn to otherwise have a very beautiful day scorpio take care hello Let's see what has come through today from Madame Andorra. For those of you that are seeking further clarity and guidance and understanding for today. All right, so we have the maiden, a new relationship blossoms. So this could be where, you know, there is a new spark between you and somebody today. Um, this could be a brand new person you're meeting today. And this could be um, a really, a friend giving you really good, solid and sound advice. But um, also, this is about, you know, longings of the heart. So if you're asking about somebody else, um, you know, definitely there's longings in their heart for you. Okay, um, you're, this is all about connection, this energy in this card. So as an answer, it's like you need to connect in a more intimate and emotional way. Um, some of you, you might need to seek the guidance of a trusted friend in regards to um, matters of the heart. All right, overall, this is a very sweet and nice energy. Um, some of you, this is like brand new love is knocking on your door today so those of you that um, were drawn to Madame Endora she is saying either a seek advice from a trusted friend um, B the person you're asking about you are definitely in their heart um, C a new relationship can um, blossom today or a new spark can ignite between you and an existing relationship so 
that is what Miss Madam Andorra has to say for today. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Okay, so let's see what Gaia is offering for those of you who felt led to her for extra advice and clarity. All right, liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. So as advice, um, Gaia is saying anything that is negative, low vibrating, isn't serving you, isn't on your team, doesn't have your back, isn't there for you, um, today is a great day to break that um, attachment. If you're asking about a specific person, this could be the universe saying you're better off served breaking ties with that person. Um, also, with this, you could, you know, be free of some obligation that you've had, like, uh, you know, if you've been having to do community service, like today is the last day of that. Um, but for many of you, this is speaking about like shifting thoughts and emotions where we're getting out of those lower, heavier uh, vibrating energies. <clears throat> and um, it allows our own vibration and our frequency to rise, which just generally feels better. OK, so you need to cut out of your life what is no longer serving you, what's holding you down, what's pulling you down. That's how you rise. That's how you regain your happiness. That's how you regain your momentum and your footing is by cutting out anything that is negative. Okay? So those of you that were attracted to Gaia, that is her message for you today. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello. So let's see what energy is coming out for those of you who were drawn to the planet cards. Ooh, we have Pluto, so this is um, eighth house energy, Scorpio, um, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So um, as advice and, you know, further guidance, this is the universe saying that you need to not be afraid of letting go of old ideas, letting go of the past, letting go of the way things used to be, letting go of your routines, um, letting go of super intense emotions, and allow yourself to transform, allow yourself to step into a new paradigm of thinking, of living, of existing, of experiencing, rising from the ashes, becoming the phoenix. So it's like destruction and then here we rise once again okay so no matter what you're asking about you need to think in terms of the Pluto energy the eighth house energy and you could do a Google search and get a plethora more explanation about the eighth house and what that means to you look at your own natal chart and see what's going on there but it's like you really need to be responsible and <clears throat> this is not like a fun energy. This is not Jupiter, okay? This is like, no, you've got to do what you've got to do. You know the steps that must be taken. Take them and you will have success beyond what you can imagine right now, all right? But you've got to be willing to walk through the fire, to walk through those coals, to make any sort of changes that need to be made so that you can transform and you can rise because I mean look at Gaia is the liberation card with the dove and we have the sun behind the dove's head and then we have the phoenix rising from the ashes with the sun um, behind the phoenix as well so this is a very uplifting and empowering day for every single person who wants to make um, big changes in their life starting today and then moving forward. So those are your messages for today. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care.